Welcome to Stuff Works Explained. Uh, in, today we'll be making a video on Saudi Arabia and uh, we'll be looking at uh, Saudi Arabia's intention to join the BRICS. BRICS is an acronym uh, representing five leading emerging economies. We have Brazil, Russia, India and China and South Africa. These countries came together in 2001 and later 2010 South Africa joined in. These countries have an intention of trying to make the world um, uh, bipolar. They want to challenge the influence of the West and the G20. And uh, the interest of Saudi Arabia to join uh, this block is one that is curious and interesting. The announcement that Saudi Arabia is interested in joining the BRICS block was uh, made by President Matamela Cyril Ramaphosa of South Africa when he visited Saudi Arabia uh, in 2022. In this he announced that Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman had expressed that the kingdom desired to join the BRICS. The issue of uh, expansion of the block of emerging economies will be one of the key agendas that will be discussed in the summit that will be held in South Africa this year. South Africa is currently holding the presidency of BRICS. As you have said, this case of Saudi Arabia wanting to join BRICS is one that analysts have said is a curious and interesting one. As we know, Saudi Arabia has been a traditional ally, a very close one for that matter, of the United States in uh, West Asia. But in the last few months, this, uh, the relationship between the two countries has not been so good. We have seen uh, when President uh, Joe Biden was campaigning, he projected the country as a pariah state, mostly due to human rights violations and also uh, the involvement of Prince, Crown Prince, uh, in the murder of Jamal Khashoggi, who was working with the uh, uh, Washington Post as a journalist. But when he came to power, this seems to, to change uh, because he visited the country uh, when he's in, in, in his Middle East tour, where he also visited uh, Israel, and during that visit, uh, he held talks with uh, various uh, leaders, including the crown prince. Crown prince. Also, uh, with his uh, invasion of Russia, uh, I mean Russia invading invading Ukraine. We have seen uh, the country uh, or the West mounting some pressure, uh, including sanctions, and uh, these countries have been forcing other countries to join the course and Saudi Arabia was not playing the ball especially in capping the oil uh, production so with this joining with with uh, Saudi Arabia intention to join the BRICS where we have countries such as China and uh, Russia which are not so uh, which, which which seem to compete with the uh, uh, U.S. in different areas. It's an interesting one and a curious one as has been stated by the analyst. So BRICS economic group, as we have seen, includes uh, Bra uh, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. It was founded with an intention of bringing the, all these countries together. Uh, as we have seen, it's an acronym for five major emerging economies. I think as you look at it for closely, each country in, uh, I mean, it's one country from each of the continents in the global south. Uh, we have Brazil in South America, we have Russia in Europe, we have India and China in Asia, and we have South Africa in Africa. Uh, although there are five countries, there has been uh, intentions to expand its membership to include other larger countries and this is seen as a way of enhancing 
these block global capabilities. Uh, BRIC has unique advantages when you look at it, which are not replicated in other economic blocks in the world. For example, when you look at production of grains or production of food generally, most of it comes from these uh, countries. When you look, uh, talk of wheat, meat, coffee, and other crops, most of them come from these countries. And uh, the, these are countries, when you look at the five countries, they are among the 10 largest countries that maintain monetary reserves, which amount to about 40% of the total world reserves. So this is a block that you cannot ignore. It is also considered to be uh, one of the fastest growth, I mean to have one of, to have the fastest gro uh, economic growth in the world. And they contribute to about 25% of the world's total output and they occupy 26% of the world's land. Uh, as per Global Banking Group, uh, Goldman, Sachs, they predict that by 2050, the economics of BRICS countries will uh, compete with the economies of the richest countries in the world. So this block uh, cannot just be taken for granted. In terms of population, this block accounts for 42% of the global population. Currently, it has a population of more than 3.21 billion that's almost half of the world's population it also holds nearly a quarter of the world's gdp gross domestic product and it's if it's expanded it will uh, to include countries such as saudi arabia this figure might might rise to even 40 percent or or so BRICS are considered the foremost rival to the G7 block of the leading advanced economies and when they announce their intention to expand, especially to include countries such as Saudi Arabia and other Middle East countries, uh, the G7 uh, block cannot rest easy because this is an important global block that can influence global policies and G7 would like to continue dominating this space. So when uh, expansion is happening, uh, they, they, they cannot rest easy. And it would be, it would be interesting to see, to, to see how the G7 reacts to the expansion, especially inclusion of uh, countries such as Saudi Arabia. At its summit in 2022 there are several countries that expressed their interest to join the block of emerging markets and there is support within the block uh, block china is actively supporting the membership countries to start the expansion russia is also supporting it uh, the three other countries uh, may be lukewarm especially given that uh, they, there's, there's the two countries, Russia and China, may dominate the bloc, so they are afraid. And also, given that these countries represent, or they are the regional leaders in their, in their continents, they would not want rival states becoming members in the organization because they would like to continue that dominance of being the superpowers in their region. Uh, so they will be reluctant uh, to allow expansion of membership, but given that uh, they also need to have more power as far as global influence is concerned uh, perhaps they will consider uh, their position or they will consider their position and allow uh, membership expansion uh, Saudi Arabia has been a traditional ally of US and its intention to join the BRICS signals to the West that the world is becoming more multipolar this is particularly relevant after the U.S. failed to dissuade Saudi Arabia from siding with other OPEC plus countries in cutting oil production and depriving Russia from its energy uh, revenue. U.S. geopolitically driven efforts 
to set price cap on oil have been perceived as not very conducive to uh, probably uh, to the economies, especially if oil producing countries. And uh, some of them have resisted, especially Saudi Arabia, uh, oil to be used as a tool to deprive uh, Russia of its uh, energy revenues and also force it to uh, to stop its uh, aggression towards Ukraine. The expansion of the BRICS must be approved by consensus among the five original members, Saudi Arabia and India, as we, for example, they share political and economic interest, which includes oil. It will be easier for India to take a position of Saudi Arabia as opposed to probably a country like Argentina, which do not share a lot uh, in terms of interest. Uh, observers say that the alliance the expansion is seeking to achieve uh, will uh, will make it or will make will let, uh, make the world have a bipolar perspective where the powerful economic and political blocks can be can be challenged and they compete uh, the two competes in terms of global influence so the accession of Saudi Arabia with its economic and political power is, uh, will strengthen the bloc alliance, especially in the light of the Saudi policy, where they seek to establish a balanced relations with all countries around the world. So it's, it's hoped that in the upcoming summit, which will be held in South Africa in this year, 2023, the decision to admit more members, especially the Saudi Arabia, will be made. And uh, in this, South Africa is currently holding the presidency of BRICS, which rotates among countries. Uh, other countries which are also seeking to uh, join the BRICS include uh, Egypt, Algeria, Argentina, we have Bangladesh, we have Indonesia, we have Mexico, Nigeria, Iran, Pakistan, Sudan, Syria, Turkey, Venezuela, and Zimbabwe. So all these countries have expressed the intention to join the BRICS. It will be interesting to see how uh, this will be received by the BRICS members, the current BRIC members, and also other countries, especially the G7. So it will be interesting to see how uh, their reaction will be. And uh, it will also be interesting to see how uh, BRICS develops into a powerful bloc. Current is facing some challenges especially the relationship between uh, India and China, who are two influential members in this bloc. Uh, the relationship between the two countries has not been rosy, especially in the last few years. Then we have the war in Ukraine. Uh, these countries, uh, they, have, they have relationship with the other Western countries, which uh, have put sanctions on uh, Russia, Russia being a member of that bloc. So uh, they are caught up in a situation where they have to uh, declare their loyalty. So that's a challenge. Another challenge that's facing. Also, there's there seem to be some domination of this block by China, and uh, it's seen that uh, admission of mem more members uh, will make uh, China powerful, uh, as opposed to other countries. And that's why some countries are reluctant to allow uh, expanded membership of this block and there's this Russia Russia feels that with its current situation bringing in new members it gets more allies especially in as it seeks to dominate itself uh, in the in its region so it would be interesting to see how these uh, go how this unfolds and uh, in, in the later videos we'll be making uh, I mean in future we'll be making a video uh, looking at uh, what achievements has BRICS made, what problem has it been facing, and what uh, we expect as far as it's influencing the global politics or in global power is concerned. So thank you for reaching this far. Leave a comment on what you think about uh, BRICS membership expansion and the influence that this uh, block can have as far as uh, making a world bipolar or multipolar is concerned where we seek to reduce the influence of the western countries especially g7 on global matters on global policies 
and making Global South an important player as far as geopolitics is concerned. So thank you and watch the other videos that you have done and leave a comment.